The website Breitbart has been massively on Donald Trump's side. And in fact, Glenn Beck and some other conservatives are uh, feuding with them over their fervent support of Donald Trump. Um, the problem was that their regular reporter was a little sick, so they brought Michelle Fields, who you're looking at here, uh, to uh, come and report on a Donald Trump rally. And as she was doing so, uh, she's walking along with NBC and some other um, reporters, and she asked her a mildly tough or interesting question. And apparently, um, the campaign manager uh, for Donald Trump didn't like that. So, as the Daily Beast explains, uh, before Trump could answer, Lewandowski, that's the manager, grabbed Fields from behind, taking hold of her left forearm and yanking her down toward the ground like a rag doll, a witness told the Daily Beast. She's got bruising about it now uh, on her arms. Um, and she says campaign managers aren't supposed to try to forcefully throw reporters to the ground, no matter the circumstance. Well, that is very true. Uh, now, does Breitbart have her back? Mm, kind of. Um, Larry Solo, who is the CEO and president of Breitbart, said it's obviously unacceptable that someone crossed the line and made physical contact with our reporter. What Michelle has told us directly is that someone grabbed her arm, and while she did not see who it was, Ben Terrace of the Washington Post told her that it was Corey Lewandowski. If that's the case, Corey owes Michelle an immediate apology. That's your own reporter that they just manhandled and threw the ground. And your description of that event is he grabbed her arm, and if that's what happened, I guess he should apologize. That's gross, man. That, your own company, your own team is supposed to be, I don't know, maybe I've got it wrong, but it's supposed to be like family. You're supposed to take care of them. You're supposed to look out for them. And what does this guy do? If what she says is true, that's bad. <laughs> don't worry, Donald, we're still on your side. Daily Beast continues to explain. Again, it's Lloyd Grove. He, he, he's actually a, a very good reporter there. Uh, Lewandowski's explanation to Boyle said these sources was that he and Fields had never met before and that he didn't recognize her uh, as a Breitbart reporter, instead mistaking her for an adversarial member of the mainstream media. Now, what kind of an excuse is that? See, we thought we were just kicking ass from a, lo a normal reporter, um, not one who's a kiss ass to us. So if we thought you were on our side and you were on the politically correct side, then we wouldn't normally manhandle you like we do with the rest of the press. We showed you just a little while ago a Time Magazine reporter who stepped out of the cage that they have the press in by about 18 inches and a Secret Service guy grabbed him by the neck and body slammed him. This is what they're doing to reporters. The only reason why they're a tiny, tiny bit apologetic here and not really because Lewandowski has not come out and apologized to her. There's been no direct, like, hey, man, we shouldn't have done that. It's just like, oh, man, I didn't know you were one of us. I meant to body slam the other reporters. Is because she's on their side. Now, Jamie Weinstein apparently uh, is another reporter who uh, happens to be uh, dating Michelle Fields. Uh, he, uh, I believe, also writes for a conservative website. Uh, he says, Trump always surrounds himself with thugs. Tonight, thug Corey Lewandowski tried to pull my girlfriend, Michelle Fields, to ground when she asked a tough question. Ooh, the Breitbart management did not like that. So uh, Grove explains, Fields soon received an aggrieved phone call from Bardella, that's their PR person at, uh, at Breitbart, telling her that Weinstein's tweets were, quote, juvenile and immature, according to sources, and advising her to get your boyfriend under control. Wait, she gets assaulted and you're yelling at her because her boyfriend tried to defend her? Okay. Whose side are they on? Hmm, I can't quite tell. Uh, Fields, whose sources say was instructed by Breitbart's PR consultant, that same Kurt Bardella, not to speak to other journalists about the incident, though Bardella claims otherwise, declined to comment for this story. So, um, oh, you got pushed by the Trump people? Shh. What do you think? Yeah, freedom of the press? No, no, shut up already, okay? And just take it uh, because he's the fascist on our side, okay? Very, very proud. Um, hours after the Breitbart statement identified terrorists, that's the Washington Post reporter, the Trump campaign informed him that his interview with Lewandowski would not take place, blaming a scheduling conflict, leaving several colleagues to believe that Breitbart had essentially given Trump campaign manager a heads up on terrorists' intention. So this is how you silence the press. And again, how fascism begins. 
hey, you want access to the big man, to the big boss man? Well, you ha you're going to have to write positive things. Oh, you wrote or t you didn't even write about it. You told someone else that I, his campaign manager assaulted someone, that's it, I'm yanking your access. Now you're not going to get to interview, not only Donald Trump, he's not even going to get to interview the campaign manager, right? That's it, your access is gone. And the people who got assaulted, Breitbart, are the ones who turned in the reporter who was trying to help them. Note to the rest of the reporters, don't ever try to help Breitbart. Okay. Finally, one more piece from Grove. He says, why the hell isn't Breitbart standing up strongly for their reporter demanded a journalist covering the Trump campaign who spoke on the condition of anonymity so as not to antagonize Trump operatives and hamper the reporting process. See, to me, that's the biggest takeaway from this whole endeavor. Uh, look at them. They're all so scared. All these reporters are like, oh my God, I don't want to say anything on the record against Donald Trump. I'm going to lose my access. I don't want to lose my access. I mean, why the hell isn't Breitbart standing up for the reporter is the most normal thing in the world to say. But another reporter is scared to say that in public because of the consequences for Mr. Trump. He's already taking away our free press. Look at what he's doing. And then the guys who get assaulted go, yeah, oh, he assaulted one of our female reporters. Shut up already. Don't talk about it, okay? Okay, if that happened, I guess that's a bad thing. This is gross, man. And this is Donald Trump.